Hi everyone, welcome to Somme Ego, where you can learn Somme Ego while at home. Today, I'd like to introduce another making some food with Chelsea lesson. The last Natsukashi snack used peanut butter. We're going to use peanut butter again to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jelly is the same as jam in Japan. In Japan, you call it jam. In America, we call it jelly. Not a big difference. Okay, so we will be using peanut butter, same jar from the other day. Strawberry is the most popular. I have found a strawberry and blueberry. It looked good to me, so I thought I would try. I like both of these fruits gonna go ahead and open that and then you just need two slices of bread okay it's very simple we're gonna take one slice of bread set it over here open the peanut butter jar get a good size scoop of it and just spread it on the bread. You could have done background music again. <laughs> you can listen to your own music while you listen to this. But you just, you want to cover almost all of it if you can. There's two types of peanut butter. There's creamy and then there's chunky. Chunky has like pieces of peanuts in it. Um, I have chunky. The lighter blue color of Skippy is the creamy. Okay, so we've covered all of it. Then you'll take some jelly with the same knife. I usually use the same knife, of course, you know. You can use a different knife. Some people like to put the jam, the jelly, on the other slice. Some people put it here. I don't do that. I put it on, on here. Okay, I mix it together that way. Everyone has their own preference, okay? I'm going to try to do this carefully. Okay, just kind of mixing it into the peanut butter. Can get a little more. You can do this with honey. Peanut butter and honey is good. Some people do peanut butter and banana on a sandwich. That's also okay in my book. My family has many styles. Okay, then you take, there you go, put the other piece on top, and you're good to go. Sandwich. I've got now a sandwich with some chips. I'm going to make one more thing with you today. This can be a simple lunch or a small dinner. Okay, sandwich, and I'm going to introduce guacamole. Guacamole. Guacamole is made from avocado, tomato, onion, lime, uh, sometimes cilantro, um, coriander, I think is what it's called. I'm not going to use cilantro today. And then salt okay so i have two avocados today i've already cut them open okay they would look like like this you slice them and then you turn it and open it and then in the middle is usually a pit like this you don't need this you can't eat it okay after that, you can just scoop it out of here pretty 
pretty easy. It's not too hard to get it out. Okay, and I've got a bowl. Just a bowl that I'm putting it in down here. Okay, just like that. It'll kind of become clear, clean. Okay, we're gonna do this four times. Safe, safe, safe. <laughs> Have you ever tried guacamole or avocado before? You can find them at almost all grocery stores here. Harashin, Surya, mm, Seiyu, places like that. Okay. Then one more. One more, one more. This is the last one. I'm getting a little bit messy. You might want paper towels or tissues or something. Okay. All right. Keeping hands as clean as possible. <laughs> All right. So we will then, we have a bowl of the avocado and you're going to just smash it. You want to make sure that the avocado you get from the store is soft. Okay. If it's hard, you won't be able to make it for a few days. The avocado needs to become soft to, to smash it, to squish it, <laughs> to mash it together. This is a lot for just one person. This is good to share with a family, your family, or friends when you can get together with friends. Okay, just kinda all smashed up. And then I already cut up some tomatoes. I'm just gonna dump them in here like that. Okay, mix that in, just kind of mix it in. The green and red are kind of pretty together. Okay, I also cut up, chopped up some onions before. They're chopped and ready to go in. This is to make the video shorter, so you don't have to watch me cutting everything. Also just gonna mix that all in. Make sure it's mixed in nice and even. The onions will make it a little bit Spicy. Onions have a good kick to them. They're also good for your health. <laughs> I told you last time, bananas are good for your health. Onions are also really good for you. All, all of these. Tomato is good for you. Avocado is good for you. Okay, it's all nice and mixed. All right, we're going to add... I'm just guessing, mostly. Half a lime gonna just kind of squeeze it in here. I don't think you need too much. But this just gives it a nice additional flavor, extra flavor. All right. Squeeze it all in. And then last is salt and then if you want some, maybe pepper, salt and pepper, the final flavors. 
<laughs> it's best to do this in a kitchen. <laughs> uh, my kitchen is difficult to take videos in. It's very small. There's not a lot of space. That's why I'm trying to teach you easy, easy food to make. This smells really good. Still looking the same. I've got just some pink, pink Himalayan salt. If you just have table salt or whatever, that's okay too. It doesn't have to be pink Himalayan. Okay. This doesn't come out super well. It sounds like a lot, but it's not coming out well. That's okay. So we get the salt mixed in. Remember, you can add cilantro or some coriander. Just chop it up. Okay, and then maybe a little, just a little pepper. Okay, I think we're all, we're all done. All right, so I can just put a scoop of this. Okay, remember we have the chips on the plate. I'm just gonna add some here to the plate. my late lunch, early dinner, okay? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some guacamole and some chips. A typical, kind of normal American lunch. Sandwich and some chips. You don't always have guacamole. You can use salsa too. Guacamole salsa. Americans love Mexican food. So guacamole is very comes from Mexican culture. Thank you for watching Somayego. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Bye everyone.